So now we'll see another example of data scraping on this e-commerce website which has few products listed on different pages. So you can see here we have the name of the product, we have the details like the price and whether the shipping is free or not. And let's say I want to extract these three fields in three columns of Excel. So let us inspect this element on the developer tools and we find that this is present in this div and the parent div is this one which has a class name and if we collapse it we see here that there are three divs present and there is a parent div which also has a class name. Now the information that we need is present in these three divisions which are under this common parent which has class name as MAYAXYA. So we will try to inspect this element first and then we'll try to reach the child elements for this parent. So I again use the console of developer tools and I use document.getElements by class name and the class of that parent. This way I will get all the divisions present on the page. So there are 56 such divisions present on the page which has the same class. Now since we have multiple products listed on this page that's why we are getting these elements. So now we'll try to write the same code in VBA. I already have the code written for opening the browser and then waiting for it to load and then the document set. So now I start with set lms equals ht.getElements by class name and I provide that class name here. Now I'll iterate through each element one by one inside the loop and then I'll try to fetch information for each block and in that block I'll be looking for the three divisions that I want to target. So you can see these are the three divisions for which I want to extract information. So what we can do is since we are iterating through each block one by one and under that block what we can do is we try to identify all the divisions for each block all right so set divs equal lm dot get elements by tag name and i give the tag name as division now under that each element for which i am iterating through the loop i will be trying to find the number of divisions inside it and i can see right now only three divisions so what i can do is i can directly take reference of the cell where i want to write data now since I want to write always in the last blank row available for me, so I try to find the blank row using sheet one dot cells rows dot count comma one and excel up dot row plus one. I'm adding this one because I do not want to overwrite the information on the last row which is having data, but I want to add data in the next row. So that's why I'm adding one here. Okay, so this LR will hold that row number in which I want to write the data. Now since I need to write in LR comma 1, LR comma 2 and LR comma 3, these cells I need to fill with the values that I want to extract. Okay, and these values would be since these were the three divisions which I can see right now. So divs with zero index dot inner text and similarly with index 1 and index 2. Alright, now we'll try to run and we'll see whether we are able to extract the right information or not. And before we run, it is good that we test our code here in the console itself. So document.getElements by class name, that was the parent, and I give index as 0. And under that parent, I am looking for all the child elements. So you can put any index, let's say I target for first a block, or you can give any number here, since we have 56 such blocks present on the page. So get elements by tag name and then division. Now the problem is, we should see here 3 divisions only, but we are seeing 11 divisions. So that means there are some inner divisions present inside those three divisions that we were seeing. Now when we run that code, we were assuming that there were only three divisions. So we had give, given index 0, 1 and 2. Now that code is not going to work. So that is not the right approach in this case. Rather, we should give the class names here for the divisions. So I removed this code where I was finding elements with the tag name. And this code I also need to replace because now I'm not going to search with those divisions. Rather, in the LM itself, I am searching for the element with class name. Okay, so LM dot get elements by class name. And in the brackets, I can give the class name. So this was the first element. I can copy and paste for other two and I can just change the class names here. So you can also test the code here on the console if I give the class name and I expand it now we get only one element and if I try to see the inner text of this particular element we get the name that we are actually looking for okay so we are good to go with this approach we can 
figure out the class names for other two elements as well and we can put it for second and third columns as well so here i am updating the class names and now when we run this we should get all the data for first page so you can have a look at the data that we have extracted so we have all the three columns in the excel itself all right so we have not yet covered the pagination part right now we are extracting only for the first page but we need to extract for all the pages so that part i am going to cover in the next tutorial